Hey, it's Stone Age Studios, and we're back with another science video. The purpose of our experiment is to create a miniature version of the biosphere using a terrarium. A terrarium is an enclosed ecosystem that receives nothing from the outside besides light and heat, creating an entirely isolated environment within the enclosure. Hi right there. So, you're probably wondering what a terrarium is. Well, let me fill you in. The concept of a terrarium came in in 1842 by Nathaniel Bagshaw Ward. Now, the way he came up upon this theory was actually quite fascinating. He took a bottle and filled it with dirt and placed the chrysalis of a caterpillar in it, along with some mold. He viewed the bottle for several days and noticed that in the daytime condensation would like form on the top of the bottle but then later in the evening it would circulate down to the soil, giving the soil nutrients to grow something. So after a couple of weeks, he was astonished to find that there were grasses growing in the bottle and not in his own garden outside. And he came upon the theory that the reason he could not grow anything in his garden outside is because it was affected by the toxic air from the pollution of the world and smog and whatnot. And he found that the reason that grasses were able to grow in the actual bottle is because that they were not under the influence of all the toxic chemicals in the environment outside. So I'm going to explain how our terrarium was set up. We used a 2 liter soda bottle as our container. We put grass seeds, fertilizers, mulch, and potting soil together and put it into the bottle. After this, we planted beans, added more soil on top, and added water until the mixture was moist. Basically, when a terrarium is created, uh, the moisture in the bottle from the water and the soil evaporates into the top of the bottle where it condensates on the inside of, the, of it and this condensation of the water precipitates down into the soil and rewets the soil, which rewets the plant. And that keeps going in a running cycle. Now you're probably wondering how a plant can survive in this enclosed space with the situation of air, even though you now you know that it can survive with this circulatory system of water. Well, you know that a plant photosynthesizes, so it takes carbon dioxide from the air and puts out oxygen. Well, a plant at night uh, respirates like humans, but only at nighttime. So they, they take the oxygen from the air and put out carbon dioxide. It's the opposite of photosynthesis. So this replenishes for the lack of CO2 in the air. When daytime comes, the plant can photosynthesize again. In this way, the plant can find all the air and water it needs without having to be taken care of very much in its new environment of being in a terrarium. The terrarium we built is very small scale, but they can be any size. Researchers in Tucson, Arizona built an entirely sealed enclosure called Biosphere 2, which was the size of several football fields and contained several small biomes. In 1991, a group of eight researchers began living in Biosphere 2, where they stayed for two whole years without anything entering or leaving in that time. Despite feeling hunger for the first year, the crops within the Biosphere 2 were able to produce enough food to feed them properly, and so they gained some weight back. Sadly, when more organisms were introduced, the oxygen levels and the carbon dioxide levels fluctuated wildly, causing many of the vertebrates to die, as well as some pollinating insects, leaving mostly insects like cockroaches. Perhaps with further research, these concepts could be used to create colonies in space or on the moon and Mars. Thanks for watching our video. <coughs>